Hey, Scott from MyGrowthRings.com. Here, here once again is my garage shop, and uh, this is Stumped Q&A. This is our follow-up to the weekend video, where in this case, I was unboxing and installing these aftermarket levers for the Shopsmith Mark V. These are made by a gentleman named Jeffrey Baker. Um, I did include some links in the previous video. I'll do the same here. But uh, I would encourage you, if you haven't watched that video, to go check that out if there's anything about this that interests you. And speaking of Jeffrey, he jumped in and added a few comments. And so let me just uh, address those. He said that uh, the question about it being too big or in the way, um, you know, with the stock handle, and a lot of people like the stock handle, and there is nothing wrong with this. Just because DeWalt comes out with a new router doesn't make the router you bought six months ago no good, right? If you like this, use it. Uh, this, by the way, I went to my, my real shop and I grabbed one off of my Mark V that I bought in 1987. So this thing's been working forever. Nothing wrong with it. Um, but this one can be in the way, too. That was actually a comment from, uh, let's see, Ellis likes this handle. Thank you, Ellis. Um, aggravated Doc Surge likes the handle, but said it took him a while to figure out how to keep it from being in the way. Just note that this can be on either side of the headstock, and it can be in three different positions. So if it's in front of the speed dial, if it's uh, you know hitting the table or something like that, you can relocate it. And just like this one, you can pull it off if you don't need it. Let's see, uh, Jeffrey also addressed the issue of some thinking that this handle right here was too long. Um, he said that uh, he, he polled the Facebook uh, Shopsmith users group and uh, the majority of them said, yeah, probably a little bit too long. So he's gonna make this shorter in the future, but he can also make it any size you want. So if you want a long one, a short one, when you place your order, just leave a note for Jeffrey and tell him exactly what you're looking for. Um, unfair comparison said he had the same wiggle that I complained about, um, and he purchased this kit and he likes it. So there's that. Jimmy Duke said, where's the link? Um, I, I, I started to type out Jimmy. I said in the video, that's in the video description. And before I did that, I checked the video description and I didn't put it there. So there's a couple links I mentioned. They are there in the original video. That video is linked in this video description, but I'll go ahead and add the link to uh, Jeffrey's eBay post where you can check this out and get all the details. And I'll also link to his YouTube page so you can check out the videos that he has produced. Um, so sorry about that, Jimmy, for almost jumping down your throat. Depending upon what device you're using, the video description can be accessed in a number of different ways from my iPhone with the, with the YouTube app, I have to click a little arrow that's uh, on the right-hand side just below the thumbs up, which by the way, while you're over there, you can go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> on, uh, on, a, on a PC, the, there's a link down here that says show more. Click that and that opens up the video description. Every video I do, I put all links and things that uh, if you want to track me down on social media and other places, you're welcome to find that information there. Several mentioned that they like the Shopsmith aftermarket 10 position magnetic quill lever. Um, great. Um, I'm glad you like it. And uh, you know the, the issue that I had where I said, I think it just hangs off the headstock too much for me was a stumbling point. Um, if it doesn't bother you, then great. And by the way, that was proven by Morgan Smith, who has one measured it, comparing to the measurements I did in the last video. He says, yeah, it actually is a little bit longer. So um, there is that. Tim Jones mentioned that if you have a clearance problem here, maybe that this isn't going to fit quite right, you can knock the roll pin out and you can file the little recess that's in this pin. Um, I guess he has experience with this from its original purpose in the automotive industry. Um, so there could be that you could do some repairs if you need them, I guess. Anyway, thank you, Tim, for throwing that in. RF Guy, who I know have seen for years on the Shopsmith forums, um, he said he also had issues getting... Uh, this hub adapter right here to fit 
on that shaft. And um, if you remember from that other video, I complained about a burr. Uh, I did file that down and it, it fit perfectly now. But he mentioned that he measured both sides of his because this one fit perfectly. And he said, sure enough, this one's a little bit larger. So um, I, that's weird. I don't know why that would be. But, um, you know, if, if that's the case with yours, uh, jump over to that other video and, and read RF Guy's comments. He gives the full details of what he did to deal with that. And then finally, Wayne said about the original bent handle, he's like, straighten it. You got nothing to lose. And he's right. If I try to straighten it, it breaks. It's trash anyway. Um, I'm certainly going to give that a try. I, I was never not going to do that. But um, I just used that as the excuse to go ahead and purchase this. So I've been playing around here doing a number of things. But I thought, you know, the most aggressive thing I could do would be to chop a mortise. And so I've been playing with this. And uh, I tell you what. I got a half inch bit in there. I've never been comfortable pulling this lever to drive a half inch mortising chisel. And uh, this one did it just fine. In fact, what I found myself doing was actually grabbing the handle on both sides, which uh, wh how wonderful was that? Great leverage. Let me shoot just a little bit of that so you can see it in action. But the thought occurred to me, you need to see that. That's a whole nother video. So uh, this weekend, coming weekend's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Mark V with the, uh, the, the hollow chisel mortising kit. And um, if you've got that or ever been curious about it, I'll show you exactly how to make that work. So then I guess the real question is, am I happy with the purchase? Would I buy these again? Um, yeah, they are really cool. So um, I don't know. That's all I got. Thanks for a great week.